Alright, let's see if this stupid thing works this time. Um, anyway, here we have two travel type clocks, I guess. Um, both of them I got from a house we lived in when we first moved in. Um, funny story about that house. Um, we moved into that house. Um, the original owner had left everything there. Furniture, food, you name it. Fans. I got some fans from there too. And that this little clock and this little one was in the bathroom. But yeah. We, and then we moved in it. The owner said we could live there, you know, have the house and all that. And I guess he didn't realize it got sold to a guy in California. So we had to move back out. So, took some stuff, well, we actually took everything out of the house. Um, left some stuff. There's a couple of fans that got left that I wish I would have grabbed, but it was during a time when I really didn't collect fans like I do now. So, yeah. But anyway, here we have two of these. This one's like a wind up one. Um, just like a little portable clock. It looks like it would have had something connected to it or something. I don't know what these wires would have been for. And it kind of just folds out like that. This sticker was inside of it. And it's upside down. Let's flip that around here. It was to June 94, so... Maybe those are years. I don't know, actually. But it was stuck up here on the top. Kind of maybe make that out. No, oh, it was stuck right there, and it fell off. But here's the inside. As you can see, it has a wind-up thing. Alarm set. I guess... I'm not sure what winding that up does. I'm guessing it's just some kind of travel thing. It doesn't run off batteries or anything. It's a patent pending. And all that. Oh, I think there's a lever there, but it's gone. And it just... ticks. I know it's upside down. You just fold it up. Put it in your luggage and go. So this one, just a cheap digital clock. I don't know how old it is, probably not that old, but it came in the house we moved in, so it was in the bathroom, like sitting on the, the uh, vanity thing. It is also Focus, come on. Come on, you know you want to. It's made in China. All that focusing for that, please. And it's ran off the same freaking battery for as long as I can remember. And it does show the correct time. And it has a light feature. As you can kind of see there. Let's see, turn that lamp off a minute. And there, it lights up. Um... Alarm is off. What's the alarm set to anyway? 601. Let's see. It's going to be kind of hard to do. And set the alarm for, what was it? 224. This is very exciting for everybody right now. But whatever. Turn it to 226. Actually. Oh well. 
Actually, let's do this. What the fuck? And it's going out of focus. Wonderful. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the alarm sounds like. It is on. Heck, I don't know. Maybe the alarm doesn't work anymore. Like weird. Right, fuck. Why is this so complicated? Really, I don't know. Give it a minute. Maybe it'll go off. <sighs> Doubt it. Do 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 There ain't much to say about this, I mean it alarm's on. So yeah. I don't know why it's not going off. But whatever. I don't use it to use as a clock anyway, I just have it sitting over there with all that stuff. And it sits on top of that one. So, anyway, there's this video. It wasn't very great, but doing everything one handed is not easy, you know. And there's the video of those two clocks. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.